Greetings to all my fellow YouTube viewers out there. I hope you guys are having a great evening. Um, I wanted to get a video out here tonight and kind of show what I'm really impressed with about Qtile. Um, if you don't know, I have been living in Arctic with the Qtile window manager for a couple weeks now. Um, not any plans on changing from Void to Arctic, but just kind of doing a um, just kind of a review of it. But I've got some interesting thoughts. Maybe not interesting, but interesting to me anyway. Um, so be looking out for a video here in the next week or so on my thoughts on Arctic and just distributions in general. Um, that being said, today's video is on Qtile, and not all not all encompassing on Qtile, but just my thoughts on its configuration file and my favorite thing about window managers in the entire world, which if you know me or you've seen my videos, you can just go ahead and say it with me here. It is scratch pads. Yay! <laughs> How many of you like scratch pads? Raise your hands. I see you. I see all of you out there. No, I don't because I can't see any of you. So <laughs> anyway, that's being said, let's go ahead and create a scratch pad on Qtile and show you just how easy easy this window manager is to do a little bit of hacking on. So let's go ahead and launch a terminal. We are going to zoom in and we're going to cd into my Qtile directory which is in home jake.config Qtile. And if I do an ls while I'm in there you're going to see I've got the pycache there and I've got autostart.sh and I've got the cfpy which is going to be my original configuration file that um, Qtile uses out of the box. And then right now I have, or right here I've got the config.py. So the config.py is my current um, configuration file. And so let's go ahead and vim into that config.py. Speaking of pie cache over here, I wish I had a pie cache. I'm, I'm a pie guy. I love pie. What about you? Are you a cake person? Are you a pie person? Maybe you like crawlers? I don't know. I'm a pie person. And peach pie has hands down been my favorite pie for I don't know how long. But a couple years back, my wife decided, just out of the craziness in her mind, to throw some blueberries into that peach pie she was making. And oh my gosh, I think I'm an addict now because I don't think I've had a better taste in pie than a blueberry peach pie. I mean, it is the most delicious thing in the world. Anyway, that's a side note. I digress. I hope I don't got your mouth watering too much. But let's go ahead and vim into that config.py. Uh, config um first thing you're going to notice is at the top of this configuration file you've got some stuff you've got imported. Um, you've got some libraries and some stuff that you got to bring in to make your configuration file work like it should. Well, one of the things you need to do is on this line right here, this from libqtile.config import, you've got like click and drag and group and stuff like that in there. Well, what that stuff is is for like your widgets and your mouse control and your workspaces and stuff like that. Well. And the groups there are the workspaces. So um, what you need to add to that on that from libqtile.config import, you need to add scratch pad and drop down. So at the end of the row there, you need to put a comma, and then you need to put scratch pad, capital scratch, capital pad, uh, one word. Then you need to do another comma, and then you need to do drop down, capital drop, capital down. Again, one word. Um, just capital of the first letters, the S and the P and the D and the D. So once you get those added into that line, we're going to come down here into our groups section, which is where we control our uh, workspaces. And in that group section is where you're going to add your scratch pad groups right here. So you can see I've got a few made already. I've got menu, logout, and scratch pad. And if we look up here, I've got scratch pad, menu, and logout key bindings. Well, Obviously, mod return scratch pad is just my terminal scratch pad right there. So if I toggle it on and off, um, logout right here is my exit menu. So if I do mod shift C, you can see I get my exit menu created with FCF. So I can toggle that on and off. And then my launch right here, um, or, or excuse me, my uh, menu is going to be mod shift D which is my D menu replacement. So we are going to toggle that on and off. So you can see the scratch pads I've got set up. Now I've only got three for right now. That's gonna change. I'm probably gonna have five or six more. So I just thought I would come on here and do one of them on screen to kind of show you how to go ahead and do it. So what you need to do is just come right down here in the group section. We're gonna go into insert mode. We're gonna create space for another scratch pad. And we are gonna start with the word scratch pad. So we're gonna do capital S. C R A T C H capital P A D all one word. Then we're going to do a opening uh, parenthesis. 
and then double quotes, we're going to give it a name and we're going to call it music because we're going to do a music player uh, scratch pad for my uh, music player. So then we do a comma and we do square bracket and we're going to say drop down. And we're going to do another parenthesis and we're going to do double quotes again and we're going to call this one tunes because these are going to be my tunes. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to do a comma again, then we're going to do a space, and we're going to do double quotes, and we're going to do the command we need it to execute, which is going to be kitty, dash E, and we want it to execute NCMP CPP. So that'll launch my music player, then we give it a comma, and I like the way this um, scratch pad looks, the location and the size of it, so I think that'd be a good one for a music player as well. So we're just going to copy that from my um, drop down terminal here. So what we need to do is we need to get the X and Y coordinates for the window. So we're going to do X equals, and then like I said, down here I have it at 0, 1, 2, so 0, 0.12. Then we're going to say Y equals, and we're going to say, we got down here 0, 0.02, so we're going to say it's going to be at 0, 0.02, so we've got the same location. And then we're going to do comma, and we need to do width. So the width is going to equal, well we'll have it at 75% for this. Let's do it a little bit wider and let's do like 90. So we're going to do point zero point nine zero. sorry. And we're going to do comma and we're going to do height. And height is going to equal zero, zero point 0.6. Boy, I can't type. And then we're going to do comma. You might notice the theme. I say that in a lot of my videos. <laughs> and then this last bit here, we're going to do on comma focus, or excuse me, on underscore focus underscore lost underscore hide and we want that to equal false and what that does is if I launch this scratch pad and I take my mouse off of it and take focus off of it you can see it stays open it just loses focus if I have this set to true when it loses focus it'll hide that window completely and I don't want it to do that so we're gonna say false if you want it to do that you can go ahead and put true but I'm gonna say false and then we need the closing oops Go back into insert mode, Jake. Um, let's see here. So now we need to go back to the end of the line there. So go back into insert mode. And then we need the closing parenthesis, the closing square bracket, the closing parenthesis, and then the comma. So let's go back to the beginning, go zero. And we're going to say, again, we've got scratch pad. We're calling it music. And then we want drop down and then tunes. And then kitty dash E N C M P C P P. And then we've got our X and Y coordinates, and we got our width and our height and our focus. So now let's go ahead and create a key binding for it. So as you see, this is all super simple so far. So we need to do key, and then we need to do a opening parenthesis, and then an opening square bracket, and we're going to do mod, comma. Actually, no, I'm not going to have... Uh, so we're going to do mod, and then close the square bracket again, and do comma. And then we're going to do T, because I'm just going to have it be T. So we're going to do key, and then mod, comma, T, comma. And then we do lazy, dot, group. And then we do a square bracket. And we're going to do the, um, <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to do single quotations, and we're going to do music. And do the single quotation again. And then we are going to close the square bracket and we're going to do dot drop down underscore toggle. So that's going to toggle it. And then in parentheses again and single quotes, now I'm going to do tunes. And then we're going to close both of the parentheses and we're going to put a comma and we are done. So basically, this is going to set it to just mod T, which is alt T for me. And then it's going to launch the lazy group music, which is this one right here. And then the drop down toggle it's going to be is the tunes, which is kitty e and cmp cpp. And it's going to do it in this location, and the window is going to be this size. So if we go ahead and escape, which we already did, and we write, and if we do mod control r, that will reload my configuration file for me. Now, if everything worked, I should be able to hit mod t and get ncmp cpp to launch in a scratch pad. So mod t. And there it is. Well, it's a little off center. Oh, because I changed the width, but I didn't change the x coordinate. So, 
we can see it works. So now let's go ahead and change this X coordinate so we can get that centered in the screen a little better. So how about if we cut that down to um, 0 0.8, 0 0.08, 0 0.08. That should change it. Let's right and let's reload and let's do mod T again. Okay, that brought it back a little more centered, but still not quite there. So let's do 0 0.06 and let's right. Let's reload and then let's do mod T. That's getting better. It's almost centered. I think if we go 0 0.05 and we right and reload, that should get me pretty well centered. So let's do mod T. That looks better. That looks pretty well centered. So you can see it's uh, got NCMP CPP and I can toggle it on and off and on and off. And yeah, it's just that simple. So let's just kind of go over that again real quick. So up here in the from libqtile.config, you want to import scratch pad and drop down. And then down in your groups down here, you want to create your scratch, your scratch pad groups. And so then you just write out the scratch pad, you give it the group, the group a name, and then the drop down, and the drop down name and what you want it to execute. And then you give it the window location and size, and whether you want it to lose focus when you, uh, or hide when you lose focus or not, and you're done with that. Then up here, you just create your uh, keybind like you would any other keybind on um, Qtile. But in the group area, you put lazy group, so you're, you know, you're spawning this group down here, and then you put the group name, and then your drop down toggle, you put the drop down name. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So again, if we just now do mod T, we have NCMP CPP set up to toggle on and off for us. So that was uh, pretty much it. Um, it's a pretty basic configuration file. It's a pretty simple one to hack on. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get those ever wonderful scratch pads. I don't know if anybody likes scratch pads as much as I do, but um, it's the it's it's a pretty easy simple process to get them up and going. So that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out, and maybe you can go make yourself a couple scratch pads on uh, uh, Qtile. And if not, uh, maybe all my talk about pie at the beginning made you hungry for some pie, and you can go get yourself a piece of pie. So that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week. Uh, stay safe and God bless.